I'm here in this place called Oradour sur Glane, where the uh, where the Swiss they murdered the entire population, children, uh, women, everybody. So it happened on uh, June the 10th, 1944. Right. Now Swiss did it. So here you can see all the kiddies died, you know, murdered by the Swiss. Well, it's full of it. I don't know how many people. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how many, I think. A couple of hundred. They burned them alive. So here it says 642 men, women and children murdered. All organized by Swissy. So you all see the sun, your glyph in the middle. Hey, eh? Pharaoh's here. I'm going to the village. Eh? I can see the entire village is shot to pieces, all burned down, they burned people alive. And the Swissy, they, they, they used to do that every day in Russia, like five times a day. So, watch the film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, to understand it all, how the Swiss financed it, organized it, and executed it through the Alsatians, who are ethnic Swiss. So you can see the church, looks like a bloody castle. Uh, so you can see there's even a, uh, a baby was in here. You know. And this is where they burned uh, the women and the children, if I remember well. The men, they pushed them all in a barn and burned them. So the Alsatians who did it, uh, even celebrated Adolf Hitler's birthday four years ago and they're still ready to do it again you know it's all swiss the swiss financed it organized it and executed it watch my film the swiss beast home of the devil so this is the price to pay uh, frenchly they collaborated with the nazis like vichy and pétain so oh my car well, I don't need it anymore. Frenchy, they did the same thing. They had an SS division, Charlemagne. And they, they did it like five times a day in Russia. So this is the, pay, the price to pay if you collaborate with the Nazis. You know, the French did the same thing with the Jews. So what are they crying about, you know? They even wanted to take me, so I put on a t-shirt. Uh, I refused. Bloody hypocrites. No. Uh, Swissy did it. Oh, yeah. So I repeat one more time during the Thirty Year War, when the Catholics they murdered the Protestants um, from 1618 to 1648, hundreds of thousands of Swiss mercenaries. They murdered 95% of the Frenchies in what we call now Elsass, in Strasbourg. Uh, yeah. And they replaced them with uh, the, uh, the Alemannic Swiss. And um, so this is how the Swiss, how they work. You know, they, they occupy a, a place in a country and they fight it from the inside out. Just like one million Swiss Americans in the US, same thing. Yeah, they bring all the wars because it's all from the Templars. I tell you, folks, if you don't, if you're not going to do anything, your house is going to end up like this. I guarantee it. It's going to end up like this. And your car, your nice car, you know, which is all all you live for, but you know, well, it's going to end up like this. Yeah. So. Um, Somebody do something against Switzerland. And I need some help because um, I, I got aggressed by a, a, an Alsatian Nazi, new Nazi. The Alsatian uh, state attorney, he's collaborating with the Swiss. I need some help. But there are too many hypocrites, you know. A lot of smooth talkers. 
this is the memorial here with all the names. Well, the whole thing looks like a swastika to me. This is another four. This is a swastika in another form here. Yeah. Ones who wanted, they make money with it now. Now, of course, there's always ISIS looking all over. Yeah? Here's the Shots of Pieces village. Donc on est à Ilkirch, c'est le 10. C'est le 10. Oui, oui, oui. Ok, ok. Ok, viens, 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 viens. Viens. So I hear just after the aggression by the uh, Swiss Alsatians, you know, the women, they got all their laws uh, at their disposal, you know. And if you're a man, yeah, you can't do anything. You know, if you hit back, if you retaliate, you know, of course the damage is a little bit bigger. Oh, uh, mate, you go, for, you go to prison for a long time, right? And in France, they, they in fact, they, uh, they changed the laws here after the, uh, the Hollywood thing, you know. And, um, well, this makes these sort of aggressions uh, completely illegal. But, um, I won't forget. Oh, no. I won't forget you Alsatians, eh? I won't forget my friends and I won't forget my enemy. So here's the village where the neo next to where the uh, the teacher boxer where he aggressed me a neo Nazi most likely, and where the neo Nazis just near to where the neo Nazis held a uh, in 2014, where they celebrated the birthday of Adolf Hitler, hundreds of them. So these guys are Swiss, and here's the um, here are the proofs. So you just punch pause. Here you can read the whole thing. It's in French here. And here it says that the, uh, after the 30-year war, here it says the Swiss immigration, the Swissies, uh, after the 30-year war from 1618 to 1648, where the Swiss mercenaries, where they um, killed all the 95% uh, of the local population, uh, they replaced the, the French here. And so this is why the Alsatians, they are Swiss. And this is in every village like this. Is there's the, uh, the hostilities here. They call it genocide, they just call it the hostilities, yeah, never mind. And uh, the Swiss immigration, they made the, the local, po the actual population here. So that means the Alsatians, and this is why they have even special laws, like in Switzerland, they call it the concordance, le concordat. It's the only place in France where they have different laws because they are Swiss, ethnic Swiss, and here it says. And this is in every village like this. This is the reason why the French, they lost all their wars. It's all, you know, lost and infiltrated from the beginning on. This is why in Strasbourg, we have the European community and all that, you know, where the, the French president was in, who is a, um, a Swiss sleeper agent. Well, I'll just explain the content of the French video very briefly here about how I was aggressed by a most likely neo-Nazi sports teacher because I called him an Alsatian Nazi for being disrespectful to me. And the Alsatians in France are in fact ethnical Swiss who replaced the murdered French during a Swiss genocide on the French by uh, Swiss mercenaries under Templar command 
during the Thirty Year War from 1618 to 1648. Uh, when uh, Swissy entirely replaced the French in that region to create the Swiss buffer zone around Switzerland, where in 2014 200 neo Nazis celebrated Hitler's birthday, and where in the very same school where the boxer teaches, 12 year old pupils get executed Nazi style with handguns. So you say, see here it says uh, Hegenheim, and in the same school in Switzerland, it's just here. You know, here's Basel and all this. It's all Swiss territory in France. And in the same school where uh, uh, pupils get killed, they kill each other next to the neo-Nazi stuff there. Um, I got uh, next to the school, I got aggressed by a, a school teacher. And... Um, weird things going on there. And the Swiss, you know, as it is just next to Switzerland, they try to extradite me. So now, because of this boxing teacher and the good Swiss understanding with the ethnic Swiss in France, Swissy tries to have me extradited back to Switzerland, where they tried all during 20 years to make me leave Switzerland, which I did. So now they want me back all of a sudden. So they can prolong their Swiss terror, torture, and eventually my death. Now here you can see this is this is where the this is Switzerland here. Here's the border. Here's Basel, St. Louis, and here's where the um, the neo Nazis where they had this party. Here's this school where I got aggressed by the um, the neo Nazi teacher, and where children get shot. It's all in the same school. Yeah, of course, you know, I'm, I'm the one who's always guilty. You know, it's an endless Swiss organized Nazi terror, endless. So these are Swiss here, ethnic Swiss, and of course here's Switzerland. It's all the same. And they understand each other very, very well. It's the buffer zone around Switzerland. And here in France, they even speak Swiss language. I'm Regina Loy. I wanted to tell you something about the journey 11 October 2016. My husband wanted to, to ask the teachers uh, for the way for a playground for our children, for the girl. I didn't, he don't answer him. He just came over to us nearby the car. It's far away from the uh, place where they have sport lessons and he came over and give a hit on my husband my husband go to the ground and the boxer it was, it was aggressive he don't stop it he just wanted to continue the fight and that's the, that was the point where I gave, came over and just told the boxer he have to finish it he have to stop it and that was the moment where I'm thinking, if, it's, if he hits me also. And as a mother, I just make me the question, why a teacher don't stay by the class, by the, te uh, by the children. They was young, they was in the third class maybe. And why he just came over for to hit my husband. That's what the way where I... I have my questions. Weißt du noch, was passiert ist? Ja. Na, du musst es jetzt sagen oder nicht? Was hat der Mann gemacht? Na ja, lass es dann. Ja, well, we are tired of being the um, being the aim of the authorities who are lying just for their own sake you know to put up a um, a terror state with more laws and more things what they can use against us the people the guy was a fascist an Alsatian fascist you know and just next to it they had just before a village next to it just just one or two villages further up 
they had a big party on April the 20th celebrating Adolf Hitler's birthday with Swiss, Germans, Annalization, neo-Nazis. And Mr. Attorney, why don't you do something about this, eh? Instead of you and your Freemason pals to terrorize us. Think about that, eh? I'm tired of it, yeah? Seeing me and my family suffer because of your terror.